Dang. A little weak tripod. So now it's like the perfect weather to do this. I should have just waited a little bit and went back and got them black laces, man. Okay, okay, we get it. The black laces go hard in them things. And those LeBron 8s are super comfortable too. But anyway, guys, what's what's going on? Peace and love. Today we got a nice Jordan 1 for you guys today. This one's a little, kind of one of those under the radar type of Jordan 1s. And special shout out to Outlets 888 because I've taken so long to get this video up and they've been super patient. They only asked me about it one time. So here we have it. Let's just jump right into it. We have the Storm Blue, and the Storm Blue is actually an OG colorway. And here's, ooh, look at that. This is the first pair I actually got that's been plastic wrapped. So shout out again to Outlets 888. And like I was saying, the, the Storm Blue is actually an OG colorway from 85. And here's what they look like now, not back in 85. And again, I've never seen the sneaker plastic wrap like this. This is kind of like a Flight Club style. It's kind of dope. And... It, I don't know why they did that because it's not really preserving the shoe. It's probably just for protection, which I really do appreciate because I've had sneakers get damaged um, by the box in the past. And, you know, that became a thing. So shout out to you guys for wrapping them like this. This particular sneaker came out in December 23rd of 2016. So they're pretty older. And for me, they flew right under my radar. And I probably wouldn't be able to get them back then anyway. And this looks like something that would sit maybe in the outlets, but it didn't and right now on StockX, these are like 700 800 in my size so it is what it is for me looking at this sneaker in closer detail i would say these are i hate to use the word perfect but this is about this is about as good as it's going to get especially a sneaker that's this old at this point like look at the look at the uh, swoosh i don't even know if the swoosh is supposed to be like that but if you look at that 85 picture, it's it's kind of close. Like it looks like it will end up looking like the 85 sneaker in about 30 years. Toe box is perfect. I mean, it all looks good. It, everything just looks crispy. You got some blue laces. I probably won't use these. And they also have the nickname of the Kentuckys. And you can obviously see why they're con a Kentucky colorway. But man, they, they, really, they really knocked it out of the park on these. To me, I think most all the batches of this sneaker will probably look like this but you got to make sure you check your qcs and they actually did send me qcs i can't say that they didn't and they were looking a little fuzzy in the picture now i see why because they had them plastic wrap but underneath the black light let's take a look here what do we find absolutely nothing see that glue pocket that's a common glue pocket right where the blue and white stitching meets but there's no stamps that's what i'm looking for no stamps let's look at the right shoe i don't see anything not even a, a little mistake that's really impressive that's super impressive and this is kind of one of the more obscure jordan ones i love it this is my favorite jordan one color blocking style if you want to call it that but they're dope see how they look on feet though that's where i usually just step on my shoe and put it on with this watch Ooh. Yeah, buddy. Yo, peace and love again, guys. Peace and love again. Another day, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just trying to get it in. I love these shoes, though. Let's just cut right to it. I love these. Everything about this shoe, in my opinion, is just so perfecto. Like, the shape of the toe box, the Nike swoosh on the side, the colorway for me. I love when it's just white leather with any color. I don't care what color. You know, It's just my favorite colorway, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get creative with the on foot, right? And I, I probably should get down. I, definitely should get down but look at this guys i need to i need to be careful look at this this is this is not safe don't do what colo does on camera just don't do it you, you could get in trouble i could get in trouble no you could get in trouble not me that right there boy look at that drop that's a drop down there like if i had something to drop i'd throw it down there like look at no i'm not going down never mind i'm going to drop Make 
sure you cut your toenails. Because I was in the car like switching socks, right? Not that this is the same day, this is a totally different day, right? right, right. I was switching my socks because, you know, I just wanted to switch my socks. And my toenails were mad long, like, not like LeBron long or Shaq long. Do you think you can't fit that eight and a half? You probably can, you just gotta cut them, you gotta cut them claws, man, cut them joints. walk like freaking a robot, you're gonna crease your shoes. So go ahead and just get the creases out. Really? And then some people are like, yo, this dude can't put a fit together to save his life. So for me, I'm somewhere right in the middle. And no, I don't like wearing V-necks. I just, I haven't worn V-neck since freaking 2013 when like Jersey Shore was in. Most annoying thing is I'm trying to end the conversation, trying to end the fight, and then I'll walk to a different room, she'll follow me. 